Hi, good afternoon. I am Teacher Angel Bird, and welcome again to another exciting and fun episode of Quaderno at Lapis. Have fun and enjoy. So what are we going to learn? First, we're going to define what is weathering. Second, we're going to give the different agents of weathering. Hmm. Have you ever tried to ask yourself, why is it that rocks are breaking down? What do you call this process? Hmm. This process is actually called as weathering. So what is weathering? This is the process where in rocks, are broken down into pieces. There are two types of weathering. The first one is what we call now as mechanical weathering, while the other one is what we call now as the chemical weathering. So what is the difference between these two types of weathering? So the first type of weathering is termed or called as mechanical weathering. So what is mechanical weathering? Mechanical weathering is the physical wearing away of rocks. So I have here a stone. If I'm going to cut this stone into two, the composition remains the same. What's the change that happens? It's only the shape and the size. But the composition of this stone remains the same. That is what we call now as mechanical weathering. So the second type of weathering, we call this one as chemical weathering. So what is happening to a rock once it undergoes chemical weathering? So once that a rock undergoes weathering, there is a change in its composition that allows the rock to break down into pieces. So those are the two types of weathering. So the first one, we have mechanical, and the second one, we have the chemical weathering. But have you ever asked or tried to ask yourself, why is it that rocks are breaking down into pieces? Hmm. Do you know the reasons? Yes, the reason why rocks are broken down is because of the different factors. And what do you call these factors? These factors that causes now rocks to break down into pieces are what we call now as the agents of weathering. So there are six factors or six agents why rocks are weathering. Just remember this acronym. Ta -pao. T stands for temperature. A for animals. P plants. H humans. W wind. And another W is for water. So, these are the six factors why rocks are weathering. So, let's describe each. Why are they causing now rocks to break down into pieces? The first reason why rocks are weathering is because of temperature. Hmm. Why is it that temperature causes rocks to break down into pieces. When rocks are exposed to varying temperature, it expands. And if it is exposed to low temperature, it contracts. So if this process keeps on repeating, this causes now the rocks to wither. Or in other way around, to break down into pieces.
The second reason why rocks are weathery is because of animals. Animals that live underground contributes now to the breaking down of rocks into pieces. The question is, how? If the animals keep on digging or burrowing the uh, layer or the, the surface of the ground, this causes also rocks to break down into pieces. The third reason why rocks are weathering is because of plants. What do plants need in order for them to grow? Mm -hmm. You have the light coming from the sun. Correct. What else? They need water. Yes. They need also soil. But aside from these three, what else do we need in order for them to grow? Okay. They need minerals. So imagine if there is a plant that grows on the surface of a rock, what do you think the plant will do? So eventually, the plant will absorb all the nutrients or the minerals coming from the rock. So if this happens, it gradually takes all the minerals, the nutrients that are found in the rock, which causes now the rock to break down into pieces. The fourth reason why rocks are broken down into pieces is because of the human activities. Actually, the number one reason why rocks are weathering is because of humans. Where do we get the gold? Where do we get the silver, the diamonds? All of them actually are from rocks. So in order for them to take these uh, minerals, what are we doing? We are mining them, correct? Another, constructing building, constructing roads. What are we doing? We are digging. So what happens if we're going to dig? We are breaking the rocks into pieces. So human activities are the reasons also why, or one reason why rocks are breaking down into pieces. So the fifth reason why rocks are breaking down into pieces is because of water. Water can break the rocks in many ways. For example, I have here a rock. If the water keeps on hitting the surface of the rock, the water will remove all the nutrients found in the rock. So if this happens continuously, this causes now rocks to break down into pieces. Another example, if there is a crack on the surface of the rock, the water will seep into it. And if it gets colder, it will turn into ice and it will expand. Eventually, the crack will become bigger and bigger. This causes now the rock to break down. The last reason why rocks are breaking down into pieces is because of the wind. The wind carries sand, small particles of stones, fragments, sediment. So once that the wind blows, what happens to this? This fragments, sediments, sand or small particles of rocks, they cause now scratches to the surface of the rock. And once that it causes scratches, there is the breaking down of rocks. So those are the reasons why rocks are breaking down into pieces. So always remember this acronym. You have your TAPA. T stands for temperature. A for animals. P, plants. H, human. W, water. W, wind. So always remember this 
are the reason, the agents that causes now rocks to break down into pieces. So do you have any questions? Okay, very good. So kindly answer the following questions. That ends our lesson for today. See you again in the next episode of Quaderno at Lapis. If you think this video is helpful, kindly click like and subscribe. Bye!